Introduction What are you doing, Somya? Mom, I am separating out my clothes according to their colors. <laughs> but why, Somya? Mom, I want to find out the number of green, red, blue and yellow dresses that I have. <laughs> Who asked you to do this exercise, Somya? My maths teacher has given me this task. She is teaching us data handling. <laughs> Children like Somya, you are all so keen to know about data handling. So, come with me to learn about data handling. Data. Ravi and his father are returning home from the World Book Fair. Ravi has bought 20 books at the fair. His father has bought 10 books. In all, there are 30 books. The figures 20, 10 and 30 are unarranged. So, such unarranged collection of figures is called data. When Ravi reaches home, he divides the 30 books into five different categories of comics, mysteries, folk tales, classics and poems. Here is how he summarized the details in the form of a table. Such arrangement of figures is called organization of data. Organization of data. Organized data provides desired information at a glance. We can organize data using tally marks, pie charts and bar graphs. Let us know more about them in detail in our next screens. Tally marks. Now let us organize Ravi's data with the help of tally marks. Make three columns. Categories, tally marks and number of books. Write down the five different categories under Categories column. Draw a vertical line against the Mysteries category under the Tally Marks column for the first book in the category. Draw a horizontal line for the next book in the same category. Draw a vertical line for the third book in the category. Draw a horizontal line for the fourth book in the category and complete the rectangle. Represent the fifth mystery book with a line drawn between two opposite ends of the rectangle. We repeat the exercise for other categories of books. The end result is a tally marks table, pie charts. A pie chart is a circle divided into sections. Each section represents a particular value. Let us now organize Ravi's data with the help of a pie chart. Here is a circle divided into 30 sections. Each section represents a book. Let us color five adjacent sections yellow and write mysteries. Let us now color the next three adjacent sections green and white folk tales. Now we count the next 12 sections. We color them red and write comics. Next, we count eight adjacent sections, color them orange and white classics. Finally, we color the remaining two sections, blue and white poems. The pie chart is ready. Bar graphs. A bar graph is a collection of vertical bars. Each bar in a bar graph represents a value. Let us now organize Ravi's data in the form of bar graphs. We first draw a bar 5 cm tall to represent mysteries. Then we draw a bar 3 cm tall to represent folk tales. Next, we draw a bar 12 cm tall to represent comics. We now draw a bar 8 cm tall for classics. Last, we draw a bar 2 cm tall for poems. The bar graph is ready. Family tree. Data related to families are organized with the help of family trees. Ravi lives in a joint family. Let us represent his family with the help of a family tree. The eldest member in the family is Ravi's great-grandfather, 
Girija Prasad. He has two sons, Hari Shankar and Ravi Shankar. Hari Shankar has two daughters, Rama and Uma. Ravi Shankar has one son, Anil. Rama has a daughter, Vidya, and a son, Vinay, while Uma has a son, Vijay. Anil has a son, Ravi, and a daughter, Richa. The family tree of Ravi's joint family is now complete. Growth Charts Growth charts are used to represent the growth of an object over a period of time. Let us now trace the growth of Ravi over the past three years. We represent height vertically and years horizontally. In 2008, Ravi was 24 inches tall. Next year, he was 28 inches tall. In 2010, he grew to 30 inches. In 2011, he measured 36 inches. The growth chart of Ravi is ready. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Unarranged collection of figures is called data. Arrangement of data is called organization of data. Data can be organized using tally marks, pie charts and bar graphs. A pie chart is a circle divided into sections. A bar graph is a collection of vertical bars. Family tree is used to represent data related to families.